Hello everyone. Today let us learn something about Roman numerals. Okay. Roman numerals are mostly seen in your question numbers or on the clock faces or in the schools your classroom numbers etc. Right. In this number system only letters are used instead of numbers. These letters represents a value. In this system only 7 symbols are used to represent any number. Let us see the 7 symbols of the Roman numerals. Here I represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500 and M represents 1000. Okay? Remember 0 does not exist in the Roman numerals. There is no 0 in Roman numerals. Right? Now let us see the rules to write these Roman numerals. In this system to write the numbers there are some certain rules to follow. Let us see the rules for writing Roman numerals. Rule number 1. Every time a symbol is repeated its value is added that many times. Every time a symbol is repeated that value will be added that many times. How many times you repeat that many times you should add the number. We know that to write 1 i is used right to write to 1 plus 1 which is 2 i i is used similarly you know that to write 3 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 you can add, write it as i i i three times okay next similarly x is used to write 10 okay so 20 is 10 plus 10 so write x x for 20 and to write 30 similarly x x x three times is used for writing 30. Next let us see rule 2. Under rule 2 you have the first point that is only i x c m can be repeated and remember any letter cannot be repeated more than 3 times. Okay, So i which is 1 and x which is 10, c which is 100 and m which is 1000. Only these can be repeated. But remember not more than 3 times. No number is repeated more than 3 times. And the next, more, next point under this rule 2 is VLD can never be repeated. Remember VLD can never be repeated. That is V which is 5, L which is 50 and D which is 500 cannot be repeated at all. Remember this cannot be repeated VLD. Now coming to rule 3. Now, the rule 3 for writing Roman numerals is the smaller value symbol whenever written right side of the greater value symbol then it is always added to it. For example, let us take V and write I right to the V. Then it becomes VI which becomes the meaning of this is 5 plus 1 that is 6. So, to write 6 we have to write VI. Then let us take X now. If you write two i's right side to that, it becomes xii, which means the meaning of this 10 plus 1 plus 1, which gives you 12. So, to write 12, we have to write xii. Similarly, if xv is written right side to l, which means 50 plus 10 plus 5, we have to add all the three terms, 50 plus 10 plus 5, which gives you 65. Okay. Next, coming to rule 4, the smaller value symbol written to the left of greater value symbol then it is always subtracted. If you write left side it should be subtracted. Remember for example let us take letter V. When I is written left to it it becomes IV which is the meaning of this 5 minus 1 that is 4. So to write 4 we have to write IV. So next take X. Write I to the left of it which becomes IX. The meaning of this is 10 minus 1 which is 9. So, ix is 9. Similarly, you write x to left of l which is xl that means 50 minus 10 that is 40. Next, rule 5. V, l, d are never written before the symbol of a larger value. That means V, l, d are never subtracted from any number. Okay? Let us see what happens if they are subtracted. For example, let us take x and write v before it. 
what happens according to this rule it should be subtracted from x right so that means 10 minus 5 which is 5 that is wrong why because we have already a symbol v for 5 let us take c and write l before it what does it mean that is 100 minus 50 right according to the rule but which is 50 it is wrong because we have already a symbol l for 50 that's why it is wrong let us take dm where d is left to m if d is written left to m that means 1000 minus 500 that means which is 500 is it correct now no because we have already another symbol d for 500 that's why so remember v l d are never subtracted and even never repeated also now let us see rule number six i can be subtracted only from v or x that means we can write only iv which is 5 minus 1 that is 4 or you can also write ix which means 10 minus 1 that is 9. Next x can be subtracted only from l or c that means we can only write either xl which is 50 minus 10 that is 40 or you can also write xc which means 100 minus 10 which is 90 and also you have one more point under this c can be subtracted only from d or m that means we can only write cd which is 500 minus 100 that is 400 or you can also write cm which means 1000 minus 100 that is 900 next coming to rule number seven a smaller numeral written between two larger numerals it is always subtracted from the larger numeral which immediately following it Okay, let me explain. X i v, for example, let us take x i v. Here, i is placed between two larger numerals x and v. That means i should be subtracted from 5, that is 10 plus 5 minus 1, which is 14. Similarly, let us take l i x. Here, i is placed between l and x. That means the i should be subtracted from numeral which is immediate next to it that is 50 plus 10 minus 1 which is 59 let us see another example c x l here x is in the middle of c and l so x should be subtracted from l so it can be written as 100 plus 50 minus 10 which is 140 now let us see the last rule in this rule number 8 when a larger numeral is written between two smaller numerals then the first smaller numeral is always subtracted from the middle larger numeral okay let me explain with an example let us take an example of x l v here in this l is the larger numeral placed between two smaller numerals x and v okay so the first smaller numeral x should be subtracted from the middle number l which is 50 minus 10 plus 5 which is 45 okay similarly let us take another example x c i here c is placed between two smaller numerals x and i so subtract x from c that is 100 minus 10 which is 90 plus 1 which is 91 in another example c d l d is placed between c and l so c should be subtracted from d that is 500 minus 100 plus 50 which gives you 450 Okay, that's all for today. Let's meet in the next video. Bye.